Hey guys I am Nekisha from Canada Immigration TV. In this video I'm going to talk about Unemployment rate among Canadian immigrants at historic low. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, please watch this video all the way to the end. For the most recent immigration news and updates, please like and share to this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button icon of the notification bell. Let's get started with the video. According to Statistics Canada's March Labour Force Survey, the unemployment rate for immigrants who arrived in Canada within the last five years was at an all-time low. The newly released report covered Canada's labour market conditions from March 13 to March 19. Provinces relaxed public health restrictions during the reference week. In Ontario, Manitoba, Alberta, and Quebec, all capacity limits and proof of vaccination requirements were lifted. Overall, unemployment in Canada fell 0.2 percentage points to 5.3 percent, the lowest rate since comparable data became available in 1976. Statistics Canada calculates the unemployment rate by dividing the number of unemployed people by the labor force participation rate. For the first time, the adjusted unemployment rate which includes people who wanted a job but did not look for one, fell below its pre-pandemic level of 7.2%. The unemployment rate for core-aged immigrants who arrived within the last five years was 8.3%, the lowest since comparable data began being collected in 2006. The unemployment rate for Canadian-born workers was 4.5%. The 3.8 percentage point gap was observed prior to the pandemic in March 2019. With the unemployment rate so low, virtually all industries, including those in the hospitality industry that have yet to fully recover, writes Nathan Jensen, Assistant Chief Economist at RBC Economics. Employment Growth Outpacing Population Growth In March, total employment in Canada increased by 73,000 owing to gains in full-time employment. Since September 2021, employment growth has outpaced population growth. Since September, when Canada's employment began to recover from the pandemic, employment has increased by 2.4 percent, compared to a 0.8 percent increase in the population aged 15 and older. The slow rate of population growth, combined with high job vacancies and rapid employment growth, will almost certainly be used to make the case for allowing more foreign workers in. Opening the door to international talent is one way to counteract downward pressure on the labor market. In an effort to address labor shortages, Canada introduced measures this week to support temporary foreign workers. Some of these measures, such as doubling the validity period of the Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA, have already taken effect. LMIAs effectively demonstrate that a foreign worker will not take a job from a Canadian worker, and they are required for some work permits. In addition, the maximum period of employment for high wage and global talent stream employees has been increased from two to three years. Furthermore, the number of low wage positions that employers in seasonal industries can fill through the TFWP is no longer limited. On April 30, two more measures will go into effect including new rules governing the percentage of a company's workforce that can be made up of foreign workers. Canada will also end the automatic denial of LMIA applications for low-wage occupations in the accommodation and food services and retail trade sectors in regions with a 6% or higher unemployment rate. In terms of permanent immigration, Canada expects to admit a record number of newcomers this year. According to the Immigration Levels Plan 2022-2024, Canada intends to admit 431,645 newcomers in 2022. Immigration is a major contributor to Canada's population growth. According to Statistics Canada's 2021 census, Canada has the fastest-growing population in the G7, owing to immigration. Four out of every five of the 1.8 million people who were added to the population between the 2016 and 2021 censuses were either temporary residents or permanent residents. 
the remaining population growth was due to natural increase which is the difference between births and deaths. If you have not subscribed please like this video and subscribe to the channel don't forget to click on that notifications bell icon see you soon in next new immigration update.